We know that the inside of the cell is mostly water. And also, the wall of the cell, the cell membrane, is fluidic in nature. Then why does the cell not collapse? The answer is the cytoskeleton. The main function of the cytoskeleton is to provide physical support to the cell and determine its shape. It is just like how the framework of beams and columns supports the entire building. In this video, we will talk about this cytoskeleton. So, similar to beams and columns, the cell cytoskeleton is basically a network of fibrillar proteins seen throughout the cytoplasm. They are synthesized by polymerization of precursor molecules. This assembly is usually in a helical fashion, forming a rope-like structure. And if they are not needed anymore, they disassemble and reassemble again when and where they are needed. Thus, the cytoskeleton is not a fixed structure everywhere. It can be dynamic as needed. And this dynamicity plays a very important role in changing the shape of the cell or moving the entire cell. Broadly, the component proteins of the cytoskeleton are of two types, microtubules and filaments. Microtubules are polymers of tubulin. They polymerize in such a fashion that leaves a hollow space at the center. So microtubules have empty lumen. Their diameter is 20 to 30 nanometers. Talking about their special roles, they are involved in forming structures like cilia, flagella, centrioles, etc., and in their movement. They serve as ropes, along which the motor proteins walk, to take organelles from one part of the cell to the other part. They also form mitotic spindles during mitosis. So these were microtubules. Now let's talk about filaments. They can be thin filaments, thick filaments, or intermediate filaments. Thin filaments are formed of actin molecules. And thick filaments are made up of myosin. These filaments play a role in muscle contraction, reinforces the cell against pulling forces, are responsible for cell movements like gliding and cytokinesis, and helps cell extend processes, for example, formation of axon in neuron and formation of microvilli in epithelial cells. So these were thick and thin filaments. Now intermediate filaments. There is a large variety of subunit proteins that can form intermediate filaments. Expression of different subunits in different cells results in the formation of different intermediate filaments in different cells. For example, epithelial cells have keratins, nerve cells have neurofilaments, and muscle cells have desmin, etc. Talking about their functions, they radiate from the area of the cell that is subject to tensile stress. Thus they reinforce such areas against tensile stress. In epithelial cells, they insert at the desmosomal junctions that attach neighboring cells to one another. So this was all about the cytoskeleton. Now let's have a quick summary. The cytoskeleton is a network of fibrillar proteins. These proteins include microtubules and filaments. The cytoskeleton provides physical support to the cell. It helps cells move and change shape for example amoeboid movement, contraction, cell division, movement of cilia and flagella, etc. And finally, it acts like a conveyor belt to move organelles inside the cell. That's it for this video. Click here to read the notes on this video at our website. You can also explore our entire animation video library over there. To support us, first leave a nice comment and then share the video with all your friends and colleagues. It helps us a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.